SEO for your Shopify store. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm speaking about SEO for Shopify or your Shopify store. So SEO basically stands for search engine optimization and it basically means optimizing your website for the major search engines such as Google, Yahoo and Bing. So let's take an example. If you are selling running shoes for men on your website, on your Shopify website, then you might want to show up when people go to the search engines and type in running shoes for men. If your website is showing up, then you've probably done effective search engine optimization for your Shopify store. So it's really important that you do search engine optimization for your Shopify store because you can spend so much time building a Shopify store that looks great. But if no one is visiting that site, then it's going to be difficult for you to make any sales. And also it can be very expensive actually paying for visitors back to your site. But SEO is a great way to get free organic traffic back to your Shopify website. So I'm gonna be showing you a few examples on Shopify of things that you can do to help you improve your SEO. But before I really get into that, there's a couple of SEO principles that you really need to understand and pay attention to if you're really going to have success with Shopify SEO. So the very first principle is your keywords. So as a digital marketing consultant, there's so many times when people send me their websites or a link to their website and they say, Sam, why is my website not ranking? And I say to them, well, what keyword do you actually want to rank for? So it's important to know what keywords you want your website to rank for. And it's also important to note that each and every page on your Shopify website and each and every article that you write as a blog article on your Shopify website, as well as each and every individual product page is a different opportunity for you to be found in search engines for a different keyword. So I wanna show you an example on my website. Now my website is a content-based website, but the principle is still the same. So as you can see here, I have different tabs across the top. And if I actually click on sell, selling products online, if I go into eBay beginner tips, you see all of these different pages here on my site. One is called eBay and PayPal. One is called how to link PayPal to eBay. One is called eBay selling limits. And if you go through my site, you'll see there's loads of different pages here with different titles. And if you go through my blog page, you'll see there's loads of different articles here. Now, I've actually done this for a reason. This is because each and every page, I can actually target a different keyword. And the more, the more keywords I target is the more opportunities I have to be found in search. So for example, I might create a page on my website. Let's say, for example, I created this page on my website called how to link eBay to PayPal and I wanted to rank in Google for when someone typed in how to link PayPal, uh, how to, link PayPal to eBay, um, I might not rank for that. There's a possibility that I might not rank or it might take me a long time to rank. So I might put out this one, for example, how to cal calculate your eBay selling fees and that one might rank quicker. That may be because there's less competition, maybe because I've written that particular page better. Um, there's so many factors that, kind of come into play, but the more pages and the more articles and the more product pages that you have, the more opportunities you have to be found in search engines for a different keyword. So that's something to keep in mind. But also as a caveat to that, you don't wanna just be creating loads of pages and loads of articles on your Shopify store for no reason. You want them to be quality as well. So I always recommend, although you might be creating your Shopify store simply to sell a product, you should always have a blog section on your Shopify store. This way you can create content on that Shopify store and it allows you to actually draw in additional traffic from the search engines from keywords that are related to whatever it is that you're, you're selling. And I'm, I'm gonna go into that um, in a second. So let's go to actually my Shopify test website that I've literally just set up for the purposes of demonstration for this video. So. I'm pretending that my keyword is running shoes for men. So as you can see, I'm in the product section here um, of my Shopify store 
and my keyword is running shoes for men. Um, how I identified that keyword is by going to this tool called the Google Keywords Planner tool. Now, uh, this is a tool that you can easily find. I'm gonna leave a link to the Google Keywords Planner tool in the description down below. And it basically tells you how many searches per month a particular keyword is getting. So you know what keywords are popular and what keywords you need to target when you're doing SEO for your Shopify store. Now, there is a little bit of a setup process with regards to getting your Google Keywords um, to account and it's gonna probably prompt you to start a campaign, which you don't need to do, it's a free tool. Um, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the Google Keywords tool, but also to a video that shows you how to use the tool for free, just um, so you don't get confused. But when you do get access to the Google Keywords tool, you literally can type in any keywords. So I've typed in trainers for men, as you can see, and it's given me loads of different suggestions. So it's given me men's trainers, up here and it tells me that between 10,000 to 100,000 people per month are searching for men's trainers. If I scroll down a little bit, I can see running shoes for men is a suggestion that it also gives me which is related to what I typed in and that has between 10,000 and 100,000 searches per month. Now another thing that I wanna uh, kind of address here as well is the longer the phrase is, so for example, running shoes for men, that has four words in that phrase. So the longer the phrase is, the easier it is generally to rank for that keyword. So it's easier to rank for a keyword running shoes for men than it is to rank in Google for just running shoes because there's more there's more websites on the internet who are competing for the key term running shoes so you're likely to come up against some really difficult opposition with regards to ranking for that so that's something to consider as well if you already have a shopify store and you're wondering why your product pages or your articles are not ranking it might be because you're going after keywords that are just really competitive and i'm going to be doing a video soon on this channel about keywords and picking the right keywords for your particular website so make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the little bell notification button as well so you don't miss that video when it goes live so i've identified that this is the keyword i want to use on my shopify store and i want to create a um i'm going to create a few pages here uh, on on shopify to kind of show you how i would optimize my pages and my product pages and my articles for this particular keyword so going back to shopify if i click on my product my test product that i have here what you will notice is i've got my keyword in my title so i've got new green shoes but i've also got running shoes for men which is my main keyword in my title so this is an important thing whenever you're creating your title for your products pages and for your normal pages as well and your article pages as well which we're going to dive into in a second but you want to make sure that your keyword is in your title another thing that you want to do is copy your keyword go to google and paste it into google as you see i've pasted that running shoes for men into google and what happens is if you scroll right to the bottom you will see these suggested or related keywords. So these are also known as LSI keywords and these are related keywords. And uh, you wanna use some of these as well. So as you can see the top one here, best running shoes for men. I've actually used that in my title for this uh, description for this product. So um, you don't only wanna use your main keyword, but you also wanna use related keywords as well because after you've used your main keywords, two or three times, Google already know that that page is about that keyword. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping it fresh and using keywords that are related to your main keyword. Um, one other thing that you should notice is this, this uh, title contains my keywords. So not only do I have a title here, I also have a title in my description. And how I created that was by going to this little A button here and clicking heading one. So you wanna make sure that you have a heading one tag, which basically is a title within your description. And also another thing you will notice is my keyword, running shoes for men, is italicized as well. Um, and you will notice that within the content as well of this description, um, I have these are great running shoes for men. 
and that is italicized as well it's just a small little um italics that you can add so throughout your content when you're mentioning your keywords or even your related keywords you can go through and italicize them just to notify the search engines that that is an important word um, also i have subheadings as well so features of these running shoes i have a subheading um, and again i added that by going up here and clicking heading two after i've highlighted it and that will turn it into a subheading and um, this again is a related keyword so running shoes and I might want to italicize that too. Um, another thing to note here is when you're creating your descriptions for your products, make sure that you make them as lengthy and as in-depth as physically possible without waffling obviously, but give as much information as you can and add your main keywords and your related keywords in those important places that we've spoken about. The more content that you have, the better, um, not only for search engines, but also if someone is coming across your website and they want to make a purchase of your products, you need to give them as much information about that product as you possibly can, because you don't know what, what, what piece of information is going to make them make you make, make them want to make a buying decision. So that's another incentive to make you create a really in-depth product description. Don't be lazy when it comes to that. So another really cool thing that Shopify have is on the images. Uh, when you're adding an, images, an image to your Shopify store, you can actually edit the alt tag. So um, as you can see, I'm, I uploaded this already, but if I hover over it, you can see where it says edit alt text and you can actually put your keywords in here as well. Um, so I'm gonna put here running shoes, for men and click done. So you make you wanna make sure that you use this. Whenever you're adding new images, the alt text basically gives you an opportunity to tell the search engines what that image is all about. So you wanna describe what that image is about and where possible, use your main keyword as well. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and I wanna take you to these um, SEO settings. Now, hopefully you've seen these SEO settings whilst you've edited your stores and you wanna click on that and you have your page title. So this is how your, your, your page title will show up in Google and you just wanna make sure that your keyword is in there. So your, your, your keyword should be up here. You also have a meta description. So this description will show up in Google as well. Um, so you want to make sure that your keywords appear um, within this description as well. So you have between, uh, you have 320 characters, make sure that your keyword is used within that 320 characters. But as well, you want to make sure that your keyword is in your URL. So as you can see, uh, Shopify will create a URL for you and you can change the ending of that URL. So you want that URL to be running shoes for men and i want you to notice how i use the hyphen in between each word as well so you want to use a hyphen in between each word and make sure that you do that as well and once you've done those changes of course you can save them also what is a great idea as well is once you've saved those changes you want to go down to collection so as you can see it says you can actually add this to a collection. Um, you wanna go to collections and make sure that you, you actually add the collections on your website. So collections are basically, um, if, you have, if you're selling multiple different products, then you can categorize those products. And it's really important that you categorize your products um, on Shopify because this makes it easy for your users to navigate through your website and the easier you make it for users to navigate through your website then the better of an experience they have on your site and that's also going to affect your Shopify SEO so you make sure you make use of collections don't um, ignore that feature so I also want to speak about pages um, you can actually optimize your your pages in a very similar way to you did for your products so when you click on your page you're going to want to again have your keyword in very similar places 
to what you had in your your products uh, so in your title you're going to want to have it in your description and you're going to want to edit your seo settings in a very similar way as well so the same tools and the same resources that we used to to optimize our product pages are the same tools and resources that you should use for your your pages as well um, now this is an example about us page so it might not necessarily be a page that you want to rank for a keyword maybe you just want this to be a normal page on your site but if this was a if, if this was a page that you wanted to rank then you'd have your keyword up here and your keyword in your description it, it, just how we described it as well you want to make sure that you use your description to be um, as in-depth as possible about whatever your keyword is adding pictures where you can, adding videos where you can, and really making it as in-depth as possible. Um, another thing that you want to consider is adding a blog page to your site. So if you go to navigation and you go to um, main menu, you can actually add a blog page to your site. So how I basically added my blog page was by going to main menu, clicking on that, and you can add a menu item and it should be under news and then you'll see blogs and then you can add a, a menu you can add a blog page if you did that to your Shopify store and it will come up here and how you edit your blog is basically by going to blog posts and you can um, if you click on blog posts then this allows you to create new blog articles. Now, blog articles are really important because as we've mentioned, the more pages that you have on your website, then the more opportunities you have to rank in search for a particular keyword. Blog posts are also important because if you're creating really useful content, then that's a great opportunity for other websites to link to that content as well and that creates backlinks for you. So I'm, I've got videos on blog marketing and why blogging is super important for SEO and I'm going to leave some of them in the description down below. But essentially you wanna make sure that you have a blog section on your Shopify store and when you, um, when you click on your blog articles, you'll notice that you can basically optimize it in a very similar way. Again, making sure that your, your, your keywords are in your title, your keywords are in your, within your content, and also your keywords are um, down here in the edit um, SEO website settings as well. Again, similar to having product pages, you can categorize your blog articles as well with tags. So you wanna make sure that you tag them as well and keep all of the content on your blog article really uh, organized so that people and search engines can find the content and the information. Lastly, I wanna speak about the preferences tab. So when you go down here to online store under preferences, you can actually choose your title and meta description for your homepage. Now your homepage, maybe you want to rank for your actual company name. So this might be a place where you put your company name as your keyword and you're going to want to make sure that that is in your title and that is in your meta uh, description as well. So whatever you want your homepage to rank for, you wanna make sure that you go there and put your, your homepage uh, keywords within those places. So essentially, one thing that you have to remember is that SEO for Shopify is a marathon and not a sprint. And although I covered the basics in this video, there's definitely more and I'm going to be leaving a link to a playlist where I speak about search engine optimization and how you can do it effectively. Um, it takes some time to really start seeing the results that you're probably going to want to see. So don't be, don't be discouraged. Subscribe to this channel for later SEO tips that I'm going to be given and also other marketing tips that will help you to generate more sales through your Shopify store. And I also have the formula which you see here behind me. And this is the free formula to generate in sales online. It's gonna teach you how to generate sales to your Shopify store. So if you're new to selling online and you want to increase sales to your Shopify store, then make sure you download that. But hopefully this video has helped you to optimize your Shopify store for the major search engines such as Google, 
Google, Yahoo and Bing. If you did find this video useful and helpful, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day, make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.